On this episode, I chop metal with my hands. Then I well cast iron. Then I blow it through through my aluminium plate. Welcome back to a welder's journey. I'm Jesse and today on these brand new trucks we have a rubbing problem. The dry shaft is rubbing against that dryer plate. And these trucks are brand new so this is a factory defect. I think what I'm gonna do is cut an inch of the plate. But the plate is cast iron so it's not that easy to weld back. I'm gonna give it my best. Chop it up. That's an inch off. Okay, so I'm gonna weld it like this. It's gonna be an inch shorter. First thing, we want to bevel it. Make room for you to weld it. Set it up on the plate. Square it off. Make sure it's really nice and straight. Gotta have that water ice cold. Before we start welding, we gotta preheat the plate. I like to use 350 degrees. That seems to get the easier weld. Double checking the temperature. Tack it in. Tack it. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos on the way. I said tack it now. That's a long ass tack. But hey, that will do it. Turn the plate over, start welding in the back. Everybody knows if you keep welding long enough on one side, the plate will bend. Turn it over and weld it on the front. Try to get an arc shot for you guys here. So see it carefully, you can see the rod move. I'm gonna show you guys my welding lens one day. It's from Outlaw Leather and for 50 bucks it's really good. This is not it, this is another one through my camera. You see what it means? It burns really white. After we're done welding it, we have to let it cool down. Slowly cool down in a blanket, special blanket. See? All welded up. I did three passes on each side. The good old spray can job. This is the final product. Not bad at all. Let's get it back on the truck. That's much better than before. Much better. If you like truck sounds like me, you're gonna enjoy this part.
nice weather out today. On the next part of the video, I'm gonna stick weld aluminium, and that's even worse. If you have done it before, let me know down in the comment section how it went. Here she is, completely broken, held on with a party tape. Packing tape, that's packing tape. I think, hey, whatever you need to do to get it home. Okay, set it through, and let's start with the preheating again. I preheat aluminium to 250 degrees. That's what I had best results with. It's a completely different animal from cast iron, but hey, don't be afraid and just try it out. It's already broken, you can't damage it more. Okay, here you go. See, it burns really fast. Two tacks held it in place. And the same process with a plate. We're gonna start in the back. Okay, let's see the weld. See how fast the rod goes in. Here comes Antonio to take away my torch. You can have it, keep it close, keep it true, and you gotta get pretty decent results. My old time manager gave me some tips. He has a lot of experience with every kind of metal there is. His tip was run it hot and fast, and that works. Over here I went a little bit too slow and I burned through, just about here. Yep, there she is, I blow through it. He said you're doing pretty good, but just go faster. I went to fill back the hole. Just be patient, tack it in, and you fill up the hole pretty fast. Gonna finish my bead. Finish it up. That's one done. Let's go to the other side. There's a lot of slack involved in this. Let's do one nice beat. This is a front one. It also burns pretty bright. That's one full bead without burning through. Two passes more on the back side. Plus, that's where you're gonna give it some strength. I think on the back side I did a total of three beads. One in the bevel, one above it, one underneath it.
I think I think that's enough, boy. There she is. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it's not thick, but you will get the job done. This is the front side. One little hole over there, one imperfection. But anyway, let's get it back on the trailer. Ready for work. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.